Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So in this video now I'm going to show you what I have done in the behind the scenes. But first let's see if everything works. So start with the genres. We can create a new genre and I'm going to use uh, this fake filler here. I want to create and create another to create new one. And, let, and now let's say create. Here we are on edit mode on edit page and we have here a relationship for movies as we can see we can create a new movie right here also we have series also a relationship now genres has uh, many to, uh, belongs to many relationship with movies and series okay the same for categories here we have categories we can create a new category let's create with a fake filler create and create another Let's create this one as well. And also, as you can see here, we have uh, tabs for movies and series, which has a belongs to main relationship. Okay. Next, let's go to movies. We can create a new movie here. We have a, a select option for genres. And let's go and use this fake filler. I'm going to choose this genre, but we can choose more because we have a multiple here and I'm going to create and create another as, as you can see also I have created two sections one for the details which has genres, release date, title, slug and overview and one section only for the URLs okay so let's create also this one I'm going to choose this genre now and let's say create good let's go to TV shows here we can create a new TV show also here I have separated in two sections, the details and URLs. Let's use fake filler. Also we have genres here. And we can create, let's say create or create another. And let's choose this one now, I'm going to say create. We are in edit page and now we have episodes relationship. Okay, we can create a new episode here with the details, title, the slug, overview and release date and also the URLs. So let's use a fake filler and create a new episode. Let's say create and immediately it's going to show right here. We have a table for that. Also we have episodes here and we have this episode but we can create a new episode and when we create a new episode now here we have also to select, we need to select the series. So let's say I'm going to select this one. Uh, let's use fake filler and let's create. But that's it for the front end. Now let's see the back end, the code. I'm going to open one by one, but let's start with a genre category, a resource, sorry. So here I have added a section for the details with a name and the slug. And then on the table, we have name and slug. Okay, this is for the genre resource and in the get relations I have added the movies relation manager and series relation manager. I have created two relations manager for uh, genres. So let's go and open one by one here. Now we have the same uh, form schema as in the movies except in movies also we have to choose the genres and here I have removed that also on the series uh, relation manager we have the same form as you can see as we have on the on the series uh, resource okay that's it for the genres let's open the category resource now you can pause the video and see all the codes for example when I Go to form, you can pause the video and see the code because I'm not going to uh, explain text, input, make, live and so on. Just show you. So we have a section for details and name and slug for text input and then text column for name and slug. Also here I have added the movies relation manager for category and series relation manager which is the same as the uh, genres. Good. Now I'm going to open the movies resource. So let's open the movie resource. And yeah, here we have the form. 
as I told you, we have the select multiple uh, relationship for genres. And we have specified display the name. We have a date picker for release date and so on. Also this section for the URLs, poster path, backdrop path, video URL and title UR, uh, trailer URL, sorry. And on, on tables we have the titles like release date. And here I've, I have changed the date just to be date field. Also I have added a filter as you can see. The filter by the created at. And I'll add here a form with date picker created from and created until. Okay. Let's open out the uh, series resource. And here we have the section for, de de for details, columns for, I have specified here the columns. And we have uh, select uh, multiple for the genres relationship preload or so and add columns one two date picker and as i told you you can pause the video and see also the section for urls and then text column for title slug release date and create that also here on the get relations i have added this episodes relation manager and also on the filters fill the same filter for created that so the same filter we have also on the movies and on the episode relation manager is the same as the episode uh, resource so let's just open the episode resource and show you on the episode resource we have a section for choose the series and we have a select make for the series id relationship series and title also because we have choose columns four i added column span two to this and column span two on the release date as well then we have a section for details for title slug and overview and then a section for the urls a poster path backdrop path video url and trailer url on the table we have the same as we have also on the movies we have also here the same uh, filter and then we this is for the episodes now i'm going to open also the episodes uh, migration because i have added here the origin id for the series because i forgot to add data first uh, when we created the migration for the episodes so i add this later okay next let's open the genre model all the models because I have added here the relationship. So movies, which is a belongs to a relationship, a belongs to many relationship, and also series, which is belongs to many relationship. Also, if I open the category, we have the same thing: movies belongs to many, and uh, series belongs to many. Now, I have also created a migration for that. So let's open the migration and I have created the genre movie migration with origin ID for genre and origin ID for movie. Also genre series, uh, series, or genre and series of so origin ID for genre and origin ID for series class. The same we have but for category now, so category movie for origin ID for category and for origin ID for movie and for series so category series and for origin ID for category and for origin ID for series class okay again so category yes episodes on the episodes I added just a series this belonged to and also specified here the series ID then we have genres, yeah, I told you. Also the movie, on the movie we just added the genre, but also we need to add, I forget to add the categories. So let's say public function. Categories, which is uh, belong to many relationship. And also here we need to return 
this belong to many category class. Okay, on the series as well we have channels and episodes, and I'm going to add also the categories belongs to many, and we are okay. And that's it, what I have done behind the scenes, okay? So I showed you also the front end how it's going to work, and on the database migration, what I have modified and create, and also on the models, what I have modified. Now, if you like such a videos, friends, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video and share with your friends. That's it all about this video and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.